At least this this part is uh, secluded. That way, I don't have to worry about cops. Holy fuck! Stop it! Stop it! I'm serious. That wasn't too hard. I just gunned all of them down right there. Okay, all we have to do is destroy that bed. I don't see why that's necessary. I mean, killing the prostitute seems more reasonable to take down the business and destroying the bed. But that's just my idea. I don't know. They probably don't want you having. They don't want you to kill prostitutes, I guess. They, they allow you to kill prostitutes in this game, but they don't exactly want you to. That's what a lot of people get confused with. Grand Theft Auto known as the game where you, you kill prostitutes. You don't actually kill prostitutes. There's prostitutes, you can kill them. It's completely optional. Move. You can also not kill anyone throughout the game. Well, you can't actually finish the game, but you can still play it and not kill anyone. Of course, that's pretty lame, but yeah, you can still do that. Anyways, what am I rambling on about? We're gonna go down south now and take over a few more biker businesses. And then we're gonna wait a little while until our, uh, our businesses develop and our first payday with all those new businesses come in be nice. Excuse me. For now we gotta make more money and by doing that we need to take over more businesses. Holy crap, how'd that happen? Oh, we're fine now. Holy fuck. They just tried to kill me for out of nowhere. Crazy bikers. Alrighty then, here we are. Let's get a move on. This looks like a big time one, I think it is. Probably should have gotten armor before this. Suck leg, asshole. This might sting a little. How many people must I kill just to take over this business? Your life is about to expire. You little bitch, move. That's not very clever. Look, they're all bunched up there. It'll be so easy to kill them. Chance. Move your bitch no ass. one's gonna miss you. Oh well, let's just enter. <laughs> All right, grab our chainsaw. <laughs> Let's tear this fucking place apart. Let's go. This is a big time prostitution ring, huh? This is nice. At least these these uh these these criminals have class. I mean. Oh, we got two thousand off of that. Real men don't cry, they fight. Let's see if we can develop it. It's probably more expensive Let because it's a bit onion. bigger place. Maybe not. Hmm. 
Oh well. Robbery is the biggest business in this. I, I think it'd be either killing or drug smuggling, but oh well. That's just me, right? And it's almost uh, it's almost 16, so we're gonna, about to get our payday. That's good. Come on. Only 12 more seconds. Five more seconds. There we go. Who we got? One thousand eight hundred. Nice. Very nice. Clunt. Is this business already developing? But I want to buy it. What the hell? I can't. So uh, if you leave and you don't develop it, then you can't fucking do anything with it. That's that's gay. Hello. That means I have to take over that other business, huh? Huh. So if you don't you don't buy it right away, then you can't use it. I didn't know that. Maybe because I always bought it right afterwards. Okay, we're gonna go back, backtrack a little, take over that business again. One more time, and then we're gonna buy it. In fact, we're gonna stop by the ammunition first, and uh, and we're gonna grab some guns. Not some guns. We're gonna grab armor. We need that more. Okay, now we're going to develop it right away. Let's see here. How much start a smuggling? But that would be small time though. Prostitution. I could start a medium venture for prostitution, but I like the smuggling small time because it, you know, it would probably drag in a lot of money. 
and money's important. That's why I'm doing this. Right now I get about 1,800 a day. After I took over that, it'll probably be somewhere over 2,000. And I'm about to take over another one. So I don't know, probably 2,500 by the time I'm done. And we'll be done for the day because we hard, hardly have any cash to do this. <clears throat> we need a lot more cash to take over business ventures. A lot of bikers are being sent to kill me lately. Probably because I'm taking over their businesses and ruining their lives. That's the one. It's now a medium venture protection rack. Racket. <coughs> oh, both of my tires pop. Nice. It's actually easier to handle when both of them are popped, though. It's just really stiff controls. Holy fucking shit. Can you leave me alone for one day? All I'm doing is trying to take over your businesses. A oh great. What a time to reload, right? Hey, mortuary meat. This might sting a little. Are you kidding me? You can't kill him and you have a fucking chainsaw? What the hell are you doing? Kill him! What the heck? fuck, man? You have a chainsaw. And he has a bat. And he took away all of your armor. You don't deserve that armor, because you're a moron and you can't kill a guy with a bat when you have a chainsaw. Okay. Let's buy this business already. Let's see here. Don't have enough for any of that. We're gonna start up a medium adventure protection racket? I don't know. Maybe a medium adventure loan shark would be better. I don't have enough for that. Okay, medium adventure protection racket. Alright. We have practically no money now. We only have 870. We're gonna grab an armor, then we're gonna go to our safe house in the second island, which is actually the first island in the original Vice City. We're gonna go to that safe house and save the game. Holy fuck! This is crazy! Every fucking time, dude! Oh, they're dead. I can't drive down the street without being tried to get murdered or something. It's crazy. Fuck! Die! Stop shooting at me, please! I need a car! Humberto, I need your car. I need to get out of this place. These exciting dramas are sent to you each week at the same time. All characters, names, places, and incidents used in this drama are purely fictitious. Don't tell me there's a bunch of bikers following me again. I'm getting followed every minute now.